I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn what is z-score and how can we apply it. So I have two questions. This is the first one. The mean of a set of data is 23.5 with standard deviation of 3.1. Three parts to this question is, find z-score for data point of 17.3. What does z-score of minus 1.5 mean for the given data point? C is, what does a z-score of 2 mean for a given data point, right? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let us first understand what is z-score, right? So, let's understand what is z-score, and then we'll answer these questions. z-score tells you the number of standard deviations that an observation point, data point you can say, is from the mean, right? From the mean. So that is what we understand by z-score. And simple formula is z-score z is equal to x minus, let's say mean is represented by this, and standard deviation for a sample as s, right? For a population, z-score will be equal to x minus mu over standard deviation. Is it okay? Anyway, where that is the difference away from mean divided by standard deviation. That's so simple. So that is how we find the z-score. Now let's answer the questions. You can actually pause the video now and answer the questions. So the first one, what we are given here is that the mean of the set is 23.5. So let us say we are given mean as 23.5 and standard deviation is uh, 3.1. So let's say standard deviation is 3.1. Now we want to find z-score for data point 17.3. That means this is the x value. So z-score, which is equals to x minus x bar, the mean, divided by the standard deviation. That's the formula, correct? So we can substitute 17.3 for x and calculate the answer. So we get 17.3 minus 23.5 divided by 3.1. Since this is on left side of the mean, we expect a negative answer, correct? So it's on the lower side. So we have 17.3 take away 23.5 equals to divided by 3.1 and that gives you a z-score of minus 2. So that is z-score of minus 2. So here the answer is minus 2. Now the second question here is, what does z-score of minus 1.5 mean for a given data point? So as we have seen here, it means that the data point is minus 1.5 five times the standard deviation below the mean, right? So that really means that the point is uh, my 1.5 times standard deviation below the mean, correct? That is what it means. So z-score is given to you. So for such questions, what you can do is, you could also work like this. We are given the value of z, so which is minus 1.5. We don't know what x is, so we can find that minus standard deviation of 20, I mean mean of 23.5 divided by standard deviation of 3.1. So when we say point is so many times standard deviation, see, we will multiply this by this. Is that okay? below the mean. So we'll bring this here and get the point, correct? Okay, so to find x, as you can see from here, we can find x as uh, 
minus 1.5 times 3.1 correct and add 23.5 correct let's do it so we get uh, minus 1.5 times 3.1 and then you add 23.5 in decimals we get 18.85 as you can see this value is below 23.5 correct and that much times below 1.5 times standard deviation you get the idea correct so that is how you could calculate now part c is what i leave for you so this is for you to do what does a z score of 2 mean for the given data point so it is higher than the mean correct and two times how much higher it will be two times the standard deviation which is 3.1 and the actual value will be at the mean 23.5 to get the answer correct so you could do directly like this from the definition itself okay plus 23.5 that gives you in decimals 29.7 so I hope you have understood the calculation for z-score and its understanding, right? So it could be on either side of mean. If it is lower than mean, we'll get negative value. If it is higher than mean, then we'll get positive value. Now here is an application question based on z-score. It says, the result of an university examination had a mean of 55, right? So so we have mean let us say x bar of 55 and standard deviation of standard deviation let's say sigma okay i should have used s anyway of 15. the professor wished to build the mark by converting all marks to that of the mean of so we want to change it to the mean of 70 with standard deviation so standard deviation of 12 okay what would happen to a mark of 40 so if i have a mark of 40 we want to know what happens to this so that is the question for you you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestion so what really doesn't change is the z score Z score remains same because it is dependent on how much away you are from the mean, how many standard deviations away, right? So when you scale like this, Z score remains same. So let's calculate Z score initially. So Z score will be, well, the mark was 40. Okay. So Z score is equals to X minus X bar over, let me write standard deviation, right? So Sometimes we use sigma, sometimes we use s, depending on its population or a sample. Anyway, so we have 40 minus 55 divided by 15. That is equal to, let's calculate. 40 minus 55 equals to, divide by 15, is equal to minus 1. Minus 1. Oh, it's just one standard deviation away. Okay, that's great. So... Since z score remains same, since z score remains same, you know what the expected answer is, correct? Since z score remains the same, we can now find what 40 marks will translate to, right? So in this case, we know z score is minus 1. So minus 1 equals 2. We want to now find x minus 70, which is the new mean divided by standard deviation of 12, correct? So x is equals to 12 times minus 1 plus 70, correct? Which is, let's do 70 minus 12, right? 70 minus 12, which is 58. 58, correct? So that becomes the, the marks. Basically, it's one standard deviation away. As you can see, if you do 70 minus 12 as such also, you get 58. And here also, it was, the mark 40 was one standard deviation away. So you can see, as far as multiple of standard deviations are concerned, 
we have the same result. So it is one standard deviation below mean. Do you understand? In both the cases. So it doesn't really change relatively. So that's the beauty of Z-score. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Um, if you like this, great. Feel free to post questions and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.